Hello guys, my name is Moss for Logmaker360 and in the previous video we talked about the important building blocks to program an Arduino and so far we talked about the sequence and selection and before we move on to iteration and interrupts we have to take a look to data types so uh, what are data types well uh, let's say you have a temperature sensor connected to your arduino and how does the arduino know that the incoming value is a temperature a number like 25 degrees or let's say you have an lcd screen and you want to write down on the screen something like hello world how does the arduino know that it has to write characters well inside your sketch you are telling the arduino what type the data is and those are all the types inside the arduino language so those types of data are known by the arduino so your Arduino can recognize and handle those kind of data types. So how does this work under the hood? If you have a wire with a switch in there, then if there is current on the wire and the switch is open, the current has to stop here. And then there is no current on this side. Then we say it's off or it's zero or it's false or low but when the switch is closed then the current can flow and then we have we say it's on or we can say it's one or true or high and in the computer language we call a switch a bit and a bit has two options like open or close on or off if you have two bits then we have a combination of four, like zero, zero, when they are both open. Zero, one, when the first one is open and the second one closed. One, zero, when the first one is closed and the second one is open. And one, one, when they are both closed. So if we have three bits, we have a combination of eight. If we have... 8 bits then we have a combination of 256 and 8 bits we call a byte and a byte is uh, very important in computer architecture the first reason for this is the roads between the processor the CPU and the pins are wide enough for a byte so bytes can travel in good order over the roads to the pins and that works with resistors and buses but i will cover that in another video but for now if a sensor gives an input then in most cases this input is a byte and this byte travels with a bus over a road to the processor and the second reason why a byte is important is because in the memory one memory address stores one byte so inside one memory address are eight bits grouped together and all the memory bytes have a unique address which is uh, the memory address in here i showed you all the data types who are available for the arduino but in this video i only like to talk about the most important uh, data types if you want to have uh, more information about the the other data types you can find them on the arduino website so let's zoom in on the most common data types there is a boolean which only stores uh, a value of 0 or 1, true or false. We have a byte with a value between uh, 0 and 255. Uh, integer, which we use to uh, store numbers. 
and it's two bytes big so 16 bits and we can store in there uh, those numbers so the minus and the positive ones and if we put the keyword unsigned before the int it's a positive number between 0 and 65,000 if this is not big enough if you are calculating things and this number is too small you also can make it all long and then you really get big numbers and the same is with the uh, unsigned long then you can calculate between uh, zero and something like uh, four billion or something and this is a very useful data type it's, co it's uh, called float and we use that for uh, floating point numbers and it's uh, four bytes big so we have a lot of options and the char we use that for characters and it's one byte big with a value between minus 128 and plus 128 and uh, this works with the, the ASCII tabel and ASCII tabel works from 0 to 127 and if you declare it as a char then it stores let's say the character a is stored on the number 97 so if i write this line of code char example is a then the arduino will store the value 97 inside its memory and it knows that that memory address is a char so every time we ask for the number it will represent it as a character a so an integer is uh, two bytes and if we make something like uh, int e is 10 then what happened inside uh, the memory the uh, Arduino will make inside the memory a uh, reservation from uh, two bytes so from two memory addresses and inside those addresses they store the value 10 so the Arduino knows from every memory address the data type so we can change the value like e is 9 but this doesn't change the data type and this doesn't change the memory address this is the end of the video i will uh, come up with another video about uh, integers and what you can do with it uh, thanks for watching uh, leave a comment if it was helpful uh, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching